ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It's been a pretty quiet night here in Central Texas. Skies have been partly cloudy, pretty light breezes. And take a look here. This is our live Centex Seamless Gutter Sky Tracker on the Galleria Village Office Building in Bryan. And you are looking at Texas A&M. Looking good right now. Pretty quiet out there, a few clouds, but uh, no precipitation. Temperatures have been very, very mild this evening. Take a look at some of the numbers. We've got 78 degrees right now in the Hearn area, but it's 77 in College Station, 78 in Brenham. Back in Waco, it's at 79, also 79 in Colleen. And winds today have been out of the south and east roughly about 10 to 20 miles per hour. They may go down a little bit, but they're also uh, going to be kicking up that moisture overnight tonight. And by early in the morning tomorrow, I expect mostly cloudy skies here across the region. Our satellite and radar show the quiet conditions across most of the state. We are looking at uh, pretty quiet weather here. There's a very low pressure off to our northwest and a cold front to the north, which will eventually start to swing in here by Friday, and that may bring some cooler weather as we begin the weekend. Overnight tonight, though, again, the clouds begin to thicken across our area. And by early in the morning, we are looking at temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s. There may be a few clear spots to our northwest, and that's where temperatures will fall into the low 60s. By lunchtime, we kind of thin out the clouds a little bit. Otherwise, we'll call it partly sunny to mostly sunny across the area with temperatures climbing into the 70s. And by later on in the afternoon, kind of like what we had out there today, mostly sunny skies, temperatures climbing into the 80s. I'd say at least mid 80s, maybe a little bit hotter in some places. You know, our average high temperature is 79 degrees. So well above average as we go throughout the day on Wednesday. Wednesday night, though, we kind of cleared out for a little bit and then the clouds move right back in by early in the morning on Thursday. So Thursday starts off with mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be in the 60s. As we go throughout the day on Thursday, we will kind of thin out the clouds once again. Mostly sunny skies and temperatures should be climbing into the 80s. A lot of sunshine. We could see some upper 80s, especially just off to our west over toward the Brownwood and the Llano area. So let's pick it up here. Thursday at 5 o'clock. Still talking quiet weather across our region. There we go. We put this uh, map in motion for you. Overnight Thursday into Friday, here comes that front we were talking about. Some scattered showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm possible. This is early in the morning on Friday, but well to our north right now, right along the Red River in parts of Oklahoma, even into Arkansas. And then it quickly start to sweep through our region here by late in the afternoon on Thursday, uh, I should say on Friday, which could bring us a slight chance maybe of a sprinkle or two. I think most of us will say nothing. Maybe some uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Still looking good for high school football. Temperatures, though, will start to cool back down here. And then the front continues to move down to the south of us. As we start the day on Saturday, a few clouds around. But as we go throughout the day, it will be partly to mostly sunny. High temperatures only in the upper 60s to low to maybe mid 70s. So the cooler air from that front we're going to feel on Saturday as it moves here across the region. But tonight, though, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, still very quiet weather, about 67 degrees, the low temperature winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, some clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, so decreasing clouds, 87 degrees, the high winds out of the south at 5 to 10. Now, as we look ahead here, take a look at the Lockridge Freeze Home Services long-range 10-day forecast. You'll see the clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, a little bit cooler there on Friday with the front moving through 82. And then the cool day on the weekend will be Saturday, 73 degrees, 83 on Sunday, and then a pretty strong front will move through late Sunday into Monday. And this one will bring us a chance of rain, but also maybe an isolated storm. This 62 degrees might be early in the day, and then temperatures falling. We could be only in the 50s on Tuesday. And look at some of these nighttime lows in the 30s and 40s. So you're going to need to find that heavier coat, especially by the mid part of next week. Sunshine and temperatures still below average there on Thursday and Friday. And kind of the same story down toward Bryan and College Station. Looking good. Yeah, we'll see some clouds, some sunshine right on through the weekend. That stronger front moves through on Monday. Chance of some rain and then cooler weather next week. Nighttime lows will be dropping back down into the 40s. Noelle, if you're just waiting to wear one of your fancy sweaters, <laughs> next week will be a great time to bring it out. That's